Have you ever wanted to program a Motorola CDM-1250? Well, neither did I. But today, on KO4DDG Ham Radio, we're going to do so. This is a Motorola radio. CDM-1250. Almost bomb-proof. Explosion-proof. I, mean, I could probably drop this from a sky rise and it would probably still work. Amazing, isn't it? This was probably retired from a city vehicle, probably served about 10 years, but it's in my hands. So what we wanted to do, we retired this from All Star. So we had a DMK URI or URI audio device. We were trying to get that to work with Windows for WinLink for Vera FM. Sadly, that does not work. So we went with a DigiRig Mobile. And that's what we have hooked up now. So, let's get programming this thing or trying to show you how to program it. I'm not very good at it, but we got it open, so there's something. So, stay tuned. Okay, this is the Motorola CDM1250. Currently set to the local repeater in my area, W4BB. We're uh, discontinuing this radio for the link repeater since we're installing the equipment at the repeater site. So I'm gonna fire up Vera FM with this and be a Winlink FM station. But first, we have to change the frequency. So we have to reprogram this radio. So you order this cable, which I'm gonna link down below in the description. Interface it with your computer. Plug in that port. You plug the other end into your computer. This cable came from, I don't remember. <laughs> this cable came from, well the thing says StarTech. I bought it from another hand that sells these cables. Interface it with your computer for USB-C. Okay, the application you want is Motorola. Motorola. Motorola Professional Radio CPS R06.12.05. You open that up and you have this screen. Currently have the radio on. You go read device. It's going to ask you what port. So we need to find out what port that's on. Go to your vice manager. Let's go to ports. And I'm looking for that one right there. Com port 11. Click OK. And if you're lucky, it's going to read it and show this screen. If you're not, you might have to download a different driver. Right, so here we go. Shows you radio information. Okay. 1 to 30 watts on this radio. So we need to change... Let me show you everything this thing has. Might take a while. Lights, LED, alert, tone, scan, monitor, option board, no option board. Flat TX audio is nice though. Power 5 watts low, 10 watts high. This is a 30, what is he? The power is 30 watts, so I'm going to set to 25. Twenty-five high, right in the middle. Well, not real, the upper, upper half of it. My buddy wanted to know after power failure how to get it back. I said there was an option. Now I'm looking for that option for him here. Ignition sense type on and off. I mentioned it's probably on and off.
not seeing that in the options. Anyway, controls and menus. Personality. Personality is what you set your frequencies to. So we're going to change that. Personality for the repeater to my Winlink frequency I just picked. And see, and we don't have no tone. Don't know what that means. It was on two A, so we're set for two A again. Oh, that's the code is for your PL. I got you. And we don't have no PL, so it'd be zero. And TX, same thing as. I don't like that. Maybe. But nothing. Let's see. Channel bandwidth 25. Cannot be blank. Well, that's going to be a problem. So zero and zero. Because Winlink does not have PL tones. TX power high. No signaling, no phone. No compressions. Let's see if it takes that or not. took it. doesn't like it, but it took it. And I believe it's 25 kilohertz bandwidth for wide. Go send it to the radio. Invalid fields because of that PL tone. Well, shoot. I'm not sure if that really matters, though, since it's over software. We're we'll set that and we're we'll try it. I don't actually know. Why is it requiring me a PL tone? Can't we just simplex? Set a PO tone. We're making it happy. Let's go with uh, ZZ. And I'll research it further. Right to the radio. And there it goes. It says my call sign when I named it. Signal and comfort. Yeah, let's see, I think that's it for that.